Hey guys, Steph. As always, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all good. In today's video, I am trying out a few new base products from Aldi and I'm very excited. I feel right now, I don't even think it looks like anything, but I'm getting my wisdom tooth out tomorrow, honestly, that tooth. I feel like it's been trying to kill me for the last few years. I, it literally feels like it's trying to migrate its way through the side of my head, but I'm finally getting taken out tomorrow, which is why I'm like batch filming a whole load of videos so that when I have a swollen face, uh, I can just live my life off camera. And that makes it sound like I'm like Paris Hilton or something. I can just sit with my swollen face, playing the new Pokemon, which I'm freaking obsessed with. Um, but yeah, if I'm talking a little bit funny, um, or if it, I don't know if it looks overly swollen or anything, my jaw is killing me right now. I'm waiting for my painkillers to kick in. Um, but yeah, just if I'm looking funny, pretend I'm not. Thank you. So a few weeks ago, I went into Aldi and I saw they had a few base products that I hadn't tried out. And I feel like this kind of looks like it could be somewhat of a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. So I've got a kind of like primer, highlightery, filtery sort of thing. I've also got the Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer. And people are saying this is kind of like the Laura Mercier one. Now I've had to choose some potentially questionable colors because I got the tint in a shade three. And then the only concealer that they had that I thought would maybe kind of work for me is in shade four. So that's gonna be interesting, but I got the brightening concealer. Apparently it has vitamin C and caffeine in it. So I thought, let's chuck it on our face today, see what it looks like, we'll do a wear test, and um, yeah, that's kind of it, so let's get into it. I'm going out for lunch later with my sister and my auntie, and um, I'm, I'm just gonna order everything, because this time tomorrow, I'm just gonna be living off of soup, and spaghetti hoops, and grated cheese, which, oh, Honestly, I'm kind of I'm kind of excited for. But yeah, I'm gonna go wild at lunch later. So yeah, the first thing I'm gonna use is this guy here. Um, I'll put all the prices on screen now because I can't remember how much they were, but as always with Aldi, they were cheap. So this is called the CC Serum Glowing Base, and I got this in the shade Peach. I think they had maybe like three or four different colors. So it's a multi-purpose makeup base with built-in skincare benefits delivers hydration, subtle color correction, and a soft focus effect. So it does kind of sound like a Charlotte Tilbury sort of situation. And this uh, peach color says it's for medium to medium deep skin tones. And it says apply a few drops over the face uh, or mix with foundation. I think I'm just gonna put it like all over my face. So it looks like this. Smells, oh my God, this. I like it, but I know a lot of people won't. This smells heavily of rose. Like this is strong. So I'm gonna take the edge of my sponge and I'm gonna apply it to like the high points of my face and then probably just blend that out a little bit. I moisturized my skin maybe like an hour or so ago. So I'm just gonna go straight in with that. Does that look like anything? I'm not sure. I don't really feel like it looks like much right now. I mean, I know it's, it's not like it's a foundation or anything, but I am just gonna go in and apply more, but with my fingers. I'm just gonna massage it all over my face to be honest, because I wanna see how it actually looks. So you can see it goes on like a nice kind of beigey sort of color. Uh, it doesn't look glittery. It doesn't seem to have any visible shimmer specks. I feel like, ooh, hang on. Okay, you can definitely see that. I'm looking kind of shiny today anyway, because like I said, I did moisturize earlier, but I feel like you can definitely see that there. Ooh, okay, let's, let's add more. It does smell, honestly. If you don't like scents, this stinks. Like in a nice way, it smells intensely of rose. I'm gonna try it on my shoulder here. But uh, yeah, just a heads up, this like, it's a really, really intense scent. Okay, so my shoulders were looking kind of dry, but you can see it has given them a little bit of a shine, just to show you how it looks on some non-shiny skin. Yeah, it definitely does add a little bit of a sheen. Okay, um, so far so good with that. I kind of need to wait to see how it looks underneath the base, but, I actually quite like that. And I do really like the scent. I just know a lot of people won't. So now I'm gonna move on to this tinted moisturizer. So like I said, I got this in a shade three and I would have liked to have gotten the concealer in either shade three or maybe even shade two, but this is literally all they had. So we're just gonna have to try and work with it. This says apply generously to face, rubbing well and wait for it to fully absorb before exposure to the sun. Oh, oh, it's got an SPF 50 in there. I completely missed that. So it's got squalane and hyaluronic acid in it. And that's what the color looks like there. I think I'm gonna apply it with a brush because I feel like it'll probably give me a bit more coverage. Oh, okay. It covered up those little scars that I had there. And this one doesn't seem to have much of a scent. Mmm, hang on, that actually looks kind of good. I've used up all my products, so when they say 
apply a lot of this to your face. Uh, I'm guessing you really do need to kind of do that. I'm literally going in with this much. And let's see what we can do on this side. Oh, oh my jaw, don't like it. That's actually got really good coverage for a tinted moisturizer. And it feels like nothing at all. Nothing at all. It literally does just feel like a moisturizer, but not like a heavy one or anything. Oh yeah, just painting that onto my hair, that's fine. But yeah, I got a last minute appointment to get my wisdom tooth taken out because it has been killing me. If you guys have seen me on Instagram, every single day I've just been like, ow, ow, just like dosed up to the eyeballs on painkillers. And I had to just have like a general checkup at the dentist the other day. And he was like, do you want to get it out like in two days time? And I was like, I need to film a lot before then because I don't know how long I'm going to be out of action for. Some people have said that their face only swelled up for like a day or two. But when I had my uh, bottom wisdom tooth out, because it's my top one that's hurting at the moment. When I had my bottom one out, I was knocked out for it. And I was literally swollen for like two weeks. And I have loads of like Christmas events and like parties to go to in a week. So... I'm really hoping that my face doesn't look like the moon emoji because either way I'm going, I don't care. I am going whether my face is swollen or not. But yeah, really hoping I look kind of normal pretty quick. You know what? I love this. I really, really like this. Out of all the products that I got, the tinted moisturizer was the one that I was most nervous for because I wasn't sure if it was literally just gonna be like a tiny bit of tint in like a moisturizer. But this is actually a base that I would use over and over and over again. Like it looks pretty good even without being powdered down. Obviously you probably wanna powder down your T-zone, but it just looks really, really nice. I love this and it's covered up the majority of what I need to be covered up, which is good because I don't wanna put too much of this on my face because it might be a bit too dark, but Oh my God, I really, really like this. Guys, if you see this in your local Aldi, get it because this has actually made my skin look so good. And I feel like you can actually see a bit more of the shine from the uh, CC serum. Yeah. <laughs> Aldi makeup is always so good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this concealer and I do think it's gonna be too dark for me, but I'm kind of thinking I can just put it on and then if I need to, I can lighten it up. But I wanna see what it actually looks like. So bear with me, cause this might. <sighs> hang on, hang on. Got it. Yeah, bear with me because this might look a little bit wild uh, to begin with. So yeah, this is in the shade four and it looks like this. Kind of thinking I might be able to put this on, get some more coverage and then go over the top again with that tinted moisturizer. Well, hopefully it's like peachy enough just so it kind of does some more color correcting than anything else. Might not actually be too bad. And I'm gonna take this teeny tiny little beauty blender that I completely forgot about. Uh, I know Coca Cosmetics do their own little tiny one as well, which I wanna get my hands on. But I saw this and I was like, yes, I forgot about you. You are so cute and now you're filthy. But right, okay, let's see. Hopefully the more like peach tones will balance everything out and not just make it look like I've been punched under my eye. I thought that was gonna be a lot worse. I do want it to be a little bit lighter in a minute, so I will go back in with some of that tinted moisturizer again in a second, just to kind of even it out. But that's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be in terms of color. I like the packaging on this, by the way. Take a little bit more on the inner corner. Okay, so that's how it's looking. Again, ignore the color a little bit, please. But I feel like it's given me Pretty good coverage considering it is like a shade too dark for me. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a bit more of that tinted moisturizer just to see if I can lighten it up a bit. So I'm getting the coverage from the concealer and then hopefully the color from the tinted moisturizer. I feel like that's worked pretty well. It's brightened it up. I would like a little bit more coverage from the concealer, but to be honest, I'm wearing like a fairly natural base today. I say that as if I'm not like completely beiged out. For my personal preference, I would maybe like a little bit more coverage from this, but it's absolutely fine. Like it's covered everything up enough. I don't feel like I need more. I want more. I don't need it, but I want it. But I actually feel like that looks pretty good. Ooh. So I'm gonna go back in with some more of this and I'll blend that out on the macro so you guys can see it a bit better. Blends out really, really quickly. It feels comfortable under my eyes as well. It doesn't really feel like too much. Feels quite hydrating. I'm definitely gonna use this like all over my face when I've got a bit of fake tan on because I feel like this just lightly blended out all over my face would look really, really nice. 
So it says in the box that it's a full coverage concealer, which I wouldn't agree with. I would say it's a medium coverage, which is absolutely fine. But if you're expecting like insane coverage, unless you go in with a few layers of this, I don't think you're gonna get that, but it does still give you like enough. I feel like there's like internet full coverage that's literally like the Be Perfect foundation where it's just like a full mask. And then there's like day-to-day -day full coverage where it does just cover up everything that needs to be covered up. So I would say that kind of fits with like the everyday idea of full coverage. But if you're like me, if you know a full coverage foundation or concealer when you see one, then I'd probably just say this is like a medium. Isn't it funny? There's literally like different levels of full coverage, light coverage, medium coverage. So now I'm gonna go ahead and powder down this bitch. So I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Honey Powder, which is my fave. This is pretty much like my go-to when I'm trying any new like base products because it works with so many products. I'm just gonna lightly set my face down. I don't know why I've decided to do my face first today, but I just have. Oh no, something's happening on my cheek here. Can you guys see? Wait, let, let, me, let me get like real close. Can you guys see right there? Oh no, wait, I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I wasn't using very much powder at all, but I'm gonna take even less. Please don't be one of those products that looks really, really good. And then when you're almost done, it just looks like crap. Like, please, 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 please. Mm, there's a bit of texture going on, which I don't like. Okay, I'm gonna do my under eyes now. Oh, th okay, this looks good. Okay. The under eyes are looking good. I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna use an even tinier brush. I think I'm just gonna powder down like some sections of my face because it doesn't seem to like it when I go all in with the powder. I'm gonna try and buff away a little bit of the coverage on this side of my face because I feel like that's maybe the problem. I might have saved it. Yeah, I think I actually saved it. Let me know guys if you want some sort of video with me doing like how to fix makeup mistakes because I feel like after doing makeup all these years, I will never sit here and say that I'm like super professional and I know everything, but I do know how to kind of fix things when they all go tits up. So let me know if you guys want a video on something like that. And if there's anything in particular you guys want me to like touch on, if I have a tip for it, then I'll include it in the video. Because yeah, I feel like after trying out so many products, the goods, the bads, the absolutely flipping awful. I always feel like there are definitely some techniques that you can use to make it work a bit better. Like this now, I think this looks really, really good. Now that I've buffed this out a little bit, I'm liking it. God, this is like a roller coaster of emotions today. One minute I'm like, woohoo. Next minute I'm like, ow. And then the next minute I'm like, ow, my jaw. So yeah, I'll give you guys a little close up on the macro now, showing you how my skin looks now it's all powdered down. And other than the little bit of dryness I have around my nose anyway, I feel like it's looking pretty good actually. Okay, fingers crossed it stays that way. I'm now gonna go and do the rest of my makeup just with like my usual products and I will show you guys the finished look. And then I'll be heading off to lunch and we'll see how this bad boy wears. So see you in a sec. All right guys, makeup is done. Everything went on really, really nicely. Had no issues at all. So this is how the base is looking now. I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it. There's a little little tiny bit of dryness uh, around my nose because again, like it's winter, I always get dry around my nose. So that's kind of normal. Um, but otherwise, like there's a tiny bit of texture around my mouth. But again, literally in the winter, my mouth just turns into like a croissant, just flaky, everything. So I feel like as far as bases go on my current state of my face, uh, it's looking pretty good. So yeah, very, very happy. So I'm gonna go about my day and I will check back with you guys after I've come back from lunch, after I've probably run a few errands, done a little bit of work. So I'm gonna try and aim for having this on for like at least six to eight hours. So it's currently 10 in the morning. So I'm gonna see you guys around about like four, 6 p.m., something like that. So remember how this looks and I will see you guys in a sec. Okay guys, I'm back. I have been rained on, hence the hair, and my belly is full, which is always good. So it is now almost six o'clock, which means that I've had this on now for eight hours. Don't know why that took me so long there. So yeah, had this on for eight hours. I haven't touched my makeup at all since I had it on. I went out for lunch, I did some work, I went and saw my dad for a bit, I was stuck in the rain. Uh, so I feel like I've really kind of put this makeup through its paces. I'm being totally honest, I'm actually really, really happy with how everything's looking right now. Like, yeah, okay, it is a little bit glowy, but again, 
I was rained on multiple times, chasing around a dog, had a great day. Um, but I think this is actually looking really, really good. Like yeah, on camera, it's looking a little bit shiny, could probably do with a little bit of powder or just like blotting paper or something. But in person, it actually looks quite nice. And I saw one of my other aunties earlier on when I saw my dad and she was like, what have you got on your skin? It looks amazing. And I was like, Aldi. Aldi base makeup babes and we were just like having this little conversation just being like oh my god it's so amazing so yeah uh, approved by me approved by many members of my family and overall I'm just really really impressed with this so as always I'm going to include a little close-up how my skin is looking now compared to how it was looking before let me know what you guys think but yeah honestly I am very very impressed with all of these products actually like yeah the concealer could be a better color but that's fine i'll keep an eye out for it but i did really, really like it and the base even though it's a tinted moisturizer it actually had quite a bit of coverage and i really liked the glowing base as well that added a nice little glow to the skin so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below and let me know if there's any other products you guys want me to try out whether they're like super expensive affordable whatever you guys know i'm always down to try it if you guys did enjoy this video then as always you all know what to do by now please give this video a big thumbs up because it really, really does help me out a lot and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because i upload all the damn time and um wish me the best of luck because i mean i'm probably going to be on my stories talking all about it with my swollen face but uh yeah getting tooth pulled out of my head tomorrow so wish me luck for that that'll be fun and if anyone needs me i will be sat on my sofa for the next few days just playing pokemon loving life so uh see you guys in the next one bye